And we're back. Hello again. Welcome to Band of Badgers. We're going to do another uh, mystery unboxing. Um, if this is the first video you've clicked on on YouTube, um, we've got loads. We've got a few. But what we do, we, we actually record this and do this live on Twitch. We do three unboxings in a row, which is why uh, me and my helpers, this is Steve and Josh, um, why, it's why we're wearing the same clothes. Um, it's not staged. It's just badly edited <laughs> that's all it is <laughs> um as we, we we're doing all this stuff so um i in in between this quick we, we've just been doing a quick break and i was doing this whole thing with the camera uh for, for dan at free dnd which was one of our previous videos you have to check it out um and the guys steve and josh didn't tell me that i was just talking to them because i forgot to push a button so it's a big monologue it was a big monologue. I was, I was like, "Oh, Dan, you got all these ideas. We've got to sort this out. We've got to get this done." And of course, um, yeah, it wasn't on. So we're gonna let's move swiftly on. So over to uh, our other camera. If we go back, so is this working? Here we go. Here's our next selection. So we did these two. We're gonna go to this box next, um, and then we're gonna go to this box. We'll we'll kind of uh, whisk through. We we tried to spend about twenty minutes to half hour doing our unboxing. And then we'll come back in a future video to do a more in-depth detail one if it's something you'd like to see. So we'll take this one to the table. But, 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 see, it wasn't a long journey, was it? So, and then we'll switch this over. We'll go to here. We'll click on that button. And then I may magically appear in front of you or you magically appear in front of me. I'm not sure how this camera malarkey actually works. Um, but hey, we have this box now. What could this be? Any guesses, Steve, Josh? Any guesses, you in the audience in the chat channel? Toaster. Quick. A poster. No toaster. A toaster. Um. No. <laughs> it is kind of mini related. It's actually pretty good. So this is diving. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Here we have oh, a paint set. It's a new paint set, guys. Ooh. So this is this is fairly recently released here in the UK. So I picked up the previous two Noah's Always Marvelous Pigments uh, paint set, and this is the new one. This is the Underdark paint set, which you get. Um, I'll, I'll switch cameras so you can uh, have a proper look. So um, there we go. Here's the, here's the handy cam. So we've got a selection of 10 different war paints. Now these paints are based on Army Painter and the official 3D and uh, 3D and D, the official D and D set um, comes with a mini. In the first one, it was an Owlbear. Uh, in the second one, it was Minsk and Boo, which is actually pretty good. And this is the third set. This is the Underdark paint set. You get dritzed and I, Steve knows this. I am a huge fan of Dritz. Um, and these are the, the paints. Now they're based on, this is a set produced by Army Painter, which means that all the colours that are included in this set and the previous sets match up precisely to existing Army Painter sets. So if you need to run out of Bugbear Brown, like I have. So Army Painter, if you're uh, paying attention to this, um, I've run out of Bugbear Brown. Brown. If you can, can I have some more? If you have another product you'd like us to, to put in, in front of our players and things, get in touch. Um, so let me grab my scissors. Because we're based in the UK, so which means we don't have giant combat knives to do unboxing videos with. We have scissors. We have safety kitchen scissors, man. Because that is how we roll. So let's open those up. And actually, um, get inside some of these. Now I have recently just started painting miniatures. I am really, really bad at it. So I need some uh, help and some tutorials. If anyone has any help and advice, um, I've literally painted a brown owl, owl bear, a boat, a wooden floor, and half a starry owl bear that I got from 3D and D. This so, is why you have no brown left, isn't it? This is why I have no brown. Um, funny that, but uh, so in literally inside the box, um, so that's the front. We got a selection of colors there, um, more detail on the back. This is the underdark set, 
um, you don't get a paintbrush in this set. So the previous sets, you actually get a set of paintbrushes as well, I think. Um, but I, I I bought the whole whole lot. But you can see on if that will. There we go. Lich blue, Xanathar blue, Underdark grey, Succubus red, Fares red, Fares, Fares, purple, Sturge tan, Ancient mummy, Rigid leather, Putrid slime, Durgar metal. Uh, you don't get a wash in this one, but you do get a metal, which is a Durgar metal. So this is uh, an idea of the previous sets that I got. There's my Albert, and he, to be fair, my Albert did. I, I followed the instructions. There are painting guides. Um, this is the extended edition, but there are painting guides uh, in the leaflet, and I followed this. And if you go to the Army Painter website, you can download their step-by-step uh, -step painting guide. And I did that, and my Albert did actually come out very close to that. I was really impressed. Um, what I don't have from Army Painter, and oh, it might be in the other valve, in the other <coughs> fire. I'll, I'll have to have a look. But look, there's the drips. So there's drips one. Let's fold this over, and there we go. So it is quite a detailed mini, which I'm looking forward to uh, to having a paint at. I do like drips. I am very fond of drips as a character, and all of Salvatore's books. And again, if you go to the Army Painter website, they have a number of video tutorials as well of how to paint. And you can, uh, the Eye Tyrant is also a, a very tricky one. Okay. And then we've got some Army Painter hobby guides. Here's a selection of things. Now what I, what I saw, so I recently bought the Army Painter wet palette, which I bought from uh, Mighty Lancer Games, it, also in the UK. Uh, which is up in uh, East Yorkshire, Bridlington. Um, we're, we're based a lot further south down in Sussex, Sussex as we film this. Um, but I saw these, so I'll try and get these on camera. These are like beginner sets. So uh, the Quick Shade Washes set and the Battlefields Basing set. I'm just going to pick these up. Um, I have never tried these before, but I've loved using. Um, the, I got I got some bits from Warhammer, so the Citadel paint sets and land sets. But I've really enjoyed using the Army Painter paint sets. I know everyone has their own choices. I know Steve, you picked up some paints recently as well. Yeah, I uh, I went for Vallejo. Um, so the Army Painter and the Vallejo paint have one advantage, I think, over the Citadel stuff, and it's the bottles. So yeah. the Citadel paints have a very big lid on them. Okay. And the paint can dry out, whereas those little dropper bottles are great because you can control how much you, um, you, you know, you, you're using how much you're taking out the bottles. It's yeah. really nice, keeps the paint nice and fresh, and you don't get any clogged up tips or anything like that. So they yeah. are they are both very good quality. And I also use um, a wet palette, but I have made my own wet palette, not bought the Army Painter one. Yeah, and Especially, it's fairly, you, you can actually just use a plastic lunchbox to uh, make a wet palette with. Yeah. Just don't make sure you don't get them mixed up with your eye drops. Exactly. Yeah, because that would be really and don't mess up. <laughs> don't put your super glue in there either. Um, that'd be really bad. So you also get a, a, a little leaflet, obviously smashed, missing, broken. Um, they're happy to send out replacements. There you go. Five star service. Um, how to look after your brushes. A little bit of helpful tips and the entire 124 war paint range again. This is a kind of special promotion D and D uh, marvelous pigments, Norzol's pigments, um, but with, with the D and D branding on. But they are the exact same Army Painter war paints as you get from the entire collection. Um, so here, if you have a local uh, gaming store, local modeling store, do try and uh, pick them up. But again, there are so many. There's Vallejo, there's Citadel, there's Army Painter. Um, you know, and I'm just getting into mini painting, which which I'm finding quite. We're in lockdown here in the UK, so I'm finding quite uh, relaxing. But as Steve said, these are the droppers. The Sturge Tan. Um, and you, you can literally use them uh, raw, rather you don't have to mix them with anything. You can just literally just put them in. Yeah. A... So um, you can literally just you pop this out, and because so here's here's Dritz. There he is. Let's see the detail on there. Um, there we go. He's looking pretty good. 
Now look, the swords are straight. That uh, that's 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 a really good observation, that actually, because um, one thing with with plastic swords and plastic weapons in general, they're always bent. Yeah. These this this one that one's quite sharp and sturdy. Uh, that one is flexible. But yes, look, uh, this is a this is a the one piece printing. But it's very nice. But yeah. basically, you think of how small that is, and uh, so Dritz has. Uh, white hair so if you if you had the white you literally need two or three drops so if you're thinking drops out of these things um they do go a long way however i've been using bugbear brown for anything that's brown so i'm pretty empty so army painter if you'd uh, like us to showcase your items um get in touch drop us a, a note on facebook or on uh, in youtube uh, comments below that'd be great we're happily showcase your products. And you have so, to buy them as sets. Do you don't have sorry. You can if you have a, a flagship store or you go to the website, you can buy individuals. Obviously you're buying online, so you want to uh, make it worth your while in terms of postage. Um, but yes, they do sets. So again, there are three uh, currently there are three nose or pigment sets which you can get, but there are um, where is it in here? Da, 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 da. They do much bigger sets. Mm. You can buy the whole range. There's the mega paint set, and that's paint. Washes and metallics are different. So metallics is exactly what it means. Um, you know, metallic paint, golds, silvers, that kind of thing. Washes are slightly different. Washes, I've just fallen in love with washes completely. Um, you know, I, I've never understood how you can get so much detail in a mini with shades of color. Like, the, you know, if they're wearing a blue cloak, how you get the shades of the deep, dark blues in those crevices, of the folds of the cloak, for example, if you were to get it into, into here. With a wash, it's watered down paint. So it finds those nooks and crannies and then dries. The water, the water evaporates, leaving the paint behind. And that's how they do it. And it's a superb technique. I really enjoy doing it. And then oh, oh, after that, you can paint it, dry brush it with a highlight. And it always sounds really complicated. It's not. It's basically putting some dry paint on your brush, brushing most of it off, and then just basically going woof, 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 which picks up the highlights. Um, so, yeah, there's lots of tips and techniques you can get. Army Painter have those on their own YouTube channel, YouTube videos. There are lots of mini painters out there. Who have their own tips and techniques um it's really well worth doing um, and, it, and it is worth watching videos as well because yeah you're talking about can you use the, the paint straight out of the bottle well the advantage of going with a wet palette is it's thinning your paint down to make it more controllable straight in yep. the palette so if you can use a plastic palette but you still need to add a little bit of water to, it to thin it down and a lot of a lot of painters that are on youtube will, will say that Yes, and also um, with um, a wet palette, you can get you can mix colours very well. Yeah. So then <laughs> you get like, degrees of shading. Yeah, because one one of the things about yeah, once you put that wash on, you've then got two options of highlighting. So I I switch between ways of doing. It. You can either dry brush it, um, but you want to mix that original colour with white to to lighten the tone, or you can get a very very thin brush and particularly on cloaks this works you can follow the lines of the cloak to highlight yeah. it so i i'm i'm really impressed with um with that set i i have absolutely loved using these these sets um i have a whole kind of painters kit ready so these will all come out of the box and they will get used um they also do a range of, there's the paint brushes as a starter set you get three brushes um, you can see at the top here, you get the base coat, the detail, and a dry brush. Um, really, really, they're really, really nice actually. Um, and there's lots of help and advice in their various leaflets. There's the full set. Once again, there's Minsk and Boo. Check out our uh, latest episode of Avernus Rising. Um, where we, it's, what do we call it, Steve? The Beloved Ranger. There we go. The beloved Ranger, yeah. yeah. And Minsk and Boo are there. So there is, uh, I think it's uh, Black Magic Craft has got one video that he did where he paints Minsk and Boo. Yes, he has, yes. 
and there you go so for uh, Dan if you're still there in chat get in touch I think it'd be worthwhile doing a uh, you being a 3d mini printer miniature printer I think it'd be good to have some kind of painting session um, offering painting tips that kind of thing I think it'd be beneficial but I, I don't know why I put it back in I'm gonna rip the box up and I'm gonna start using these um, later so there we go um, so you know how this works if you're watching this on Twitch, stay with us. We have one more box to go. If you're watching us on YouTube, we're about to end this video and you can pick from one of our other videos and we're going to go on to our next box. So for everyone watching on YouTube, bye, see you soon, bye.